Welcome to Clinical Gyan. Considering the current COVID-19 situation and a lot of confusion surrounding the vaccine development and availability, we tried to bring some clarity with the ongoing trials for COVID-19 vaccines. According to WHO, over 120 vaccines have been proposed across the world. Out of which, seven vaccines are currently in clinical evaluation, with another about to start, and 70 are in preclinical evaluation. These numbers could vary a little as all evaluations are ongoing. Many vaccine candidates under preclinical development might not gain approval for human studies due to toxicity. CEPI, the Coalition for Epidemic Preparedness Innovation, is organizing a $2 billion worldwide fund for rapid investment and development of vaccine candidate. Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation is also supporting and funding for developing vaccines. Many biotech companies are employing an approach called Vaccines Rapid Response Platform instead of traditional methods. Rapid Response uses high-tech methods to shave off years from development time. Otherwise, a typical vaccine takes about 5 to 7 years or even more to reach the market. Traditional method uses inactivated or weakened viruses. When inactivated virus is injected in the body, the body identifies it as a foreign particle or antigen. And our immune system starts producing antibodies to protect us against the antigen. But vaccines developed with rapid response platform work differently. In rapid response platform, instead of directly injecting the antigen into the body, these type of vaccines send instructions to the cells in the body to produce target antigen protein. These instructions are in the form of RNA or DNA, which contain the code for building antigen proteins. Such an approach is being used by Innovio Pharmaceuticals, University of Queensland and Moderna in collaboration with National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases. With this approach, the proposed time for COVID-19 vaccine availability is 12 to 18 months. If this is successful, it will be the fastest developed vaccine in human history. Ages of vaccine development. It includes exploratory stage, preclinical stage, and clinical exploratory stage. This stage involves basic laboratory research. Natural or synthetic antigens are identified. These antigens could include virus-like particles, weakened viruses, bacteria, bacterial toxins, or other substances derived from pathogens. Preclinical stage. Preclinical studies use tissue culture and animal testing to assess vaccine safety, immunological response, toxicity, and also helps to determine approximate dose ranges. Clinical development. The major difference in vaccine trials is the need for healthy volunteers for all the phases of study. Other trials need patients with required medical conditions from phase 2 onwards. Phase 1 trials are designed to test for safety and preliminary dosing in few dozen healthy subjects. Phase 2 trials. After successful phase 1 trials, phase 2 evaluate immunogenicity, dose levels and adverse effects of the candidate vaccine in hundreds of people. Another trial, Phase 1-2 trial, conducts preliminary safety and immunogenicity testing. It is randomized, placebo-controlled, and multicentric to find more precise and effective doses. Phase 3 trials typically involve more participants including a control group and tests effectiveness of the vaccine to prevent the disease while monitoring for adverse effects at the optimal dose. After successful phase 3 trial, the vaccine developer will submit a biological license application for approval and licensure. There are many more companies and institutions working towards the common goal of conquering COVID-19. Hope these companies are successful in their endeavors and we get vaccine available as soon as possible. Till then, 
stay safe thank you for watching this video if you like this video please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thank you